Hey there. Today I'm going to take you through a complete demo of EDAP. The problem with existing reservation and table management systems is that they are either too expensive, not user friendly enough, or lack features essential to a restaurant's operations. We created EDAP to solve the problems that restaurants face daily when trying to manage online reservations, walk-ins, phone calls, and all the ways that customers are finding restaurants in this modern age. So let's jump right in. I'm going to start off by showing you how easy it is to get your restaurant online and increasing reservations. This is made possible with our free to use online booking widget, an easy to install free alternative to reservation forms and emails that syncs in real time with your reservation and table management system. This means that no matter where your customers find you on the web, they will instantly be able to make reservations at the times you want and the tables you want without you ever having to worry about overbookings, missed opportunities, and unnecessary cancellations. As you can see, I'm on a typical restaurant website using EDAP. You can see how when embedded on your website, your widget is front and center for all potential visitors. If you'd prefer, you can link to your booking widget from any button on your website. Let's see what the booking experience is like for your guests. Right at the top, your guest is given the option to switch between other restaurants that are part of your brand. They can also choose to change the entire language. Moving on, your guest can select the date, time, and party size. EDAP will check your restaurant in real time for availabilities that fit their requirements. If you're running any special offers, it's all there for your guests to see. This is a great way to help you drive revenue during non-peak hours. It's important to note that everything you see here is fully customizable. This means you can change the color scheme, terms and conditions, and even which custom preferences you collect from your guests. If there are no tables at the date and time your guest chooses, your widget will offer alternative timings, or allow them to add themselves to a waiting list in case a table frees up later. This keeps you from losing potential guests. Once a guest has chosen a date, time, and selected any preferences, they are taken to your custom reservation form. Aside from the standard form requirements, you can opt to collect guest details such as their anniversary or birthday to be used in future marketing campaigns, or give them an opportunity to share any allergies so your staff can be prepared. Once they add in their booking details, they are taken directly to a booking confirmation screen. You can also require your guests to enter their credit card details at this point to secure their booking. Now look what happens. As soon as they complete their reservation, they will receive an SMS and email confirmation for their booking. This is all done automatically in the background by your reservation system without you having to lift a finger. The completely customizable email that your guest receives provides them with everything they need to know about the reservation they just made, along with some information about your restaurant, such as your address and phone number, in case they need it on the day of their booking. The same automatic messaging happens if your customer then cancels their booking or you deny the reservation for whatever reason. We help your guests stay informed and in the loop right up until they are at your restaurant, keeping your customers happy and reducing no-shows at the same time. The best part is if you now switch over to EDAP, you can see that the reservation that was just made is already here in the upcoming tab, without me having to import or manually enter it. All the features discussed in this video are also available on iPad, Android, and iOS devices, and they all sync in real time, allowing you to manage your restaurant from whatever system is most comfortable for you. I can now confirm or cancel this booking if I want, and also note down any special requests the customer has asked for and add a private comment shared amongst the staff. If I haven't already done so from the widget, I can request an advance payment from the guest. This could be for anything from paying for a birthday dessert in advance to prepaying for a set menu. When the guest arrives, all I have to do is drag them to their table. That's it. Seating reservations is something we've taken the time to streamline. We believe seating a guest with your table management system should be as easy as possible. I can click and drag any upcoming reservation right onto the floor. Need to change your table? It's just as easy. More guests arrive and you need to join two tables? Not a problem. 
Seating a walk-in is also just two clicks away. Select the party size from the bottom and click on any table. Let's say a guest calls to make a reservation. If you've set up phone integration, you'll be notified directly with an EDAP and be able to make a reservation for the guest. If they've already been to your restaurant, you'll see some information at a glance that will help you address them before you pick up the phone. At any point during your shift, you can also get a live overview of your floor, see your current capacity, and how much of it you're utilizing. If your restaurant gets too busy, you can quickly block reservations for certain tables. You can turn on table labels to give you contextual information about each table at a glance, such as how long a reservation has been seated, when the next booking is, and who is serving the table. Changing the date at the top will also give you a look into the future. This helps you pre-plan for busy shifts or quickly spot if you can accommodate a guest at a future date. EDAP also helps you build your guest book on autopilot. Look at this. The guest that just made a reservation through the booking widget is automatically added to your guest book, along with the reservation history, tags, spend metrics, and contact details in case I visit again or if I want to use them as part of my restaurant marketing. In addition to this, we've also built in an advanced guest CRM right into EDAP to help take your guest management one layer deeper. This allows you to filter your guests by date of last visit, average spend, and reservation tags, in addition to a plethora of other useful options. You can then configure your guest report to only show the information you care about for each guest. Your CRM is also a great way to quickly add tags to your guests in bulk. For example, I can filter out all the guests that have visited my restaurant at least four times and then tag all of them as regular customers. And then without having to leave my CRM, I can send them all an email thanking them for being such loyal customers. I can even export this list of guests to upload into my advertising platform for retargeting campaigns or even a third-party marketing solution such as MailChimp. A guest database helps you build loyal customers. Part of that is knowing what your customers like or dislike and using that information to send them messages they'll care about. One of the questions we get asked most by restaurants looking to use EDAP is whether or not the floor plan you see here is customizable. Yes, your floor plan on EDAP is 100% customizable and changes made on either the web or iPad app will sync between devices automatically. To show you this, let's jump into the iPad app and briefly look at what customizing your floor plan looks like. Clicking edit floor takes you right into the process. At the top, I can see all the rooms I currently have set up in my restaurant. I can quickly edit their names or delete them if I wanted to. Adding a new room is simple. Adding tables to your room is even simpler. All you have to do is click and drag them right onto the floor plan. I can resize and rotate tables to get them right, and even quickly duplicate tables. Notice that on the left I can also edit the table name, minimum and maximum number of covers for the table, and even choose whether or not this table can be booked through my online booking widget. This makes it easier to control which tables are allocated to online reservations, and which ones you want to set aside for walk-ins or phone bookings. We've also made it possible to upload a background image to your floor plan, to A, make it easy to place your tables correctly and B, make it easier for your staff to visualize your restaurant during operations. You can also grab shapes to mark structures in your restaurant, such as the front desk or bar. And when I'm done, I just click save, and that's it. My new floor plan has updated here, as well as across all my other devices. We can jump back onto the web to see that our new floor plan has already been updated. If you're using EDAP alongside your POS system, our POS integration allows you to map the tables you just added directly to your POS system. This means that you can start to collect POS data in the background to be used later for analytics or marketing. In addition to the simple design and intuitive controls, we've also built a system to solve some of the most common issues people face with table management, such as reducing errors with reservations, keeping guests happy, and ensuring you never overbook your restaurant or sell yourself short. Let me show you just a few ways EDAP does that. 
We've designed multiple ways of slicing and dicing your floor plan in order to give you the best way possible to manage your tables depending on the circumstance. A common problem faced by restaurants is either overbooking or underbooking. Seat too many guests in a short period of time and your kitchen staff won't be able to keep up. While on the opposite end of the spectrum, you might be turning away customers when you have plenty of space to seat them, you just don't know it. Tools such as grid view and timeline view help you avoid these common pitfalls. Let's switch over to grid view to get a better look. At a glance, you'll notice that this feature splits your reservation into 15 minute intervals that are spaced out hourly over the day. This view gives you a really easy way of understanding whether or not you can accommodate any more guests at a specific time, and if not, where else in the day you can fit them. Essentially a simple way to prevent overbookings without having to turn away customers. Timeline view, on the other hand, is a great asset when trying to understand where and when you can seat guests that you previously wouldn't have realized. Typically a very difficult task, Timeline View allows you to easily assess opportune gaps between reservations, allowing you to further maximize reservations. This is a practice that some of the best restaurants put into place. An example of this in action is a situation right here. I have a reservation on table 18 at around 2pm, and another reservation on the same table a little over an hour later. Look how easy it is to see gaps between reservations that I previously wouldn't have. Now, imagine your restaurant is fully booked. This view is your greatest weapon in the pursuit of optimizing your restaurant floor. And when paired with our waitlist tool, you'll never have to needlessly turn away guests. All you have to do is navigate to the waitlist tab from your floor view to create a new waitlist entry, or view waitlist requests that have come in directly from your online booking widget. And after that, it's just as simple as creating a standard reservation. We'll even keep track of how long your guest has been waiting and give you the tools you need to message them when their table's ready. No more pesky restaurant pagers. This same messaging system is how we help you reduce no-shows. We've built an automatic messaging system right into eDAP, which helps you keep guests notified about their reservations without you having to pick up your phone or send any manual emails. As you saw before, these messages are sent whenever a change is made to a reservation. Keeping your guests informed every step of the way from the second they book a table to the second they are seated. Taking you one step closer to reducing your no-show rate. Another way EDAP helps you reduce no-shows is something we touched upon earlier, payments. You can either make payments a requirement for all guests trying to make a reservation through your booking widget, or alternatively, let all bookings come through but only confirm the ones that pay a deposit once you've sent them the payment link. We'll cover automatic payment rules later in this video, but for now, let me show you how easy it is to request a payment from your guest to secure a booking. All I have to do is click Create New Payment from the Payments tab of any reservation. Fill out how much I want to charge the guest and how I want to charge them, and that's it. You'll be notified as soon as your guest has successfully made a payment, and you can then mark their booking as confirmed. What about restaurant operations? How can EDAP help you efficiently run your restaurant? Well, for starters, EDAP acts as your eyes and ears when you don't realize you are making a mistake. Because let's face it, even your best waiters and hostesses slip up sometimes. Your table management system is designed to automatically alert you when you are making a reservation that conflicts with another booking. Or better yet, when you are seating a customer on a table that is either too big or too small for their party size. And the beautiful thing is that no matter where you are on the system, whether that's floor view, grid view, or even timeline view, you will easily be able to see that there is something wrong with one of your reservations, or even filter and sort your views to pinpoint the reservations that matter to you. Another way EDAP helps you optimize restaurant operations is right from the floor view through Operator. Operator acts like another member of your team and checks for missed opportunities in the background, informing you when you could be getting more reservations or if you suddenly have a spike in no-shows. Now that we've covered how you'd use EDAP on the daily, let's hop into your restaurant admin to take a look at the brains of your operations. You can start from the settings tab, where you'll quickly be able to see what tasks are left to get your restaurant 100% up and running with EDAP. You can also search for what you're trying to accomplish, for example, widget, and then hop right into the settings page for that feature. Alternatively, 
you can head to admin.edapp.co for direct access to your restaurant admin. We'll start with the availability tab. This is where you can control all the ways your restaurant is available both online and offline, as well as managing capacity. The shifts tab allows you to create your standard restaurant shifts. These determine your restaurant's availability based on the day, week, time, as well as how you choose to manage your capacity. The shifts you create here will not only impact your online availability, but will also impact how you interact with your table management system. Whether it's right from floor view, or from any of EDAP's other views, your reservations will be organized by shifts with easy to understand indicators helping you assess how close you are to reaching capacity at any given point in time. Remember earlier when I mentioned how you can set up automated payment rules? Once you've set them up from the Payments Rules tab, you can attach them to your shifts from here. This means when guests choose to book a table at your restaurant for certain time slots, they will either be required to make a deposit or authorize a payment method to confirm their booking. They can also choose specific special packages, for example, different brunch options, and pay directly. Moving on to the Preferences tab, this is where you'll be able to define the choices your guests can make from your online booking widget. This can be anything from selecting to book a table for your afternoon tea to choosing where they'd like to be seated. Earlier, we touched upon being able to block reservations and tables. The Block Hours tab is where you can have more control over the time intervals and channels you want to block. You can choose to block only in-house reservations or online reservations or both. This is great if you know your restaurant will be closed on certain days or hours, but you don't want to edit your shifts. You can quickly block reservations for that day. The Waitlist tab is where you can set up your online waitlist rules that I mentioned could show up on your widget. This allows you to enable waitlist options for your guests for certain shifts if your restaurant gets too busy. An example would be a high demand brunch. Instead of turning away guests when your restaurant is fully booked, have an online waitlist automatically present itself to start building a list of guests and the event someone cancels. The final tab in availability is table grouping. This is where you define rules that allow your online widget to automatically join tables based on the party size. Now let's talk about tags. Tags are used across EDAP to help you organize, understand, and track your guests and reservations. Tags can be used when making a reservation, after a reservation has been made, or even automatically added through automation. Tag groups can be created, and individual tags can be added to these groups. Grouping tags not only helps you keep your tags organized, but also allows you to select a group of tags for your guests to choose from when making a reservation. When it comes to messaging, all messaging in EDAP is customizable. When creating a new message, you can choose to apply it to one of the preset actions. For example, when reservations are confirmed or canceled. Or you can choose to make it a custom guest or restaurant message. Custom messages can be used from the automation feature. Automation allows you to automate some of your restaurant's operations. By setting up rules and actions, you can create automated workflows that run in the background helping you save countless hours every day. For example, you can create an automation rule that waits for a guest to reach three visits and then automatically tag them as a regular, send them an email thanking them for being so loyal, and send an internal email to inform your staff that you've earned a new regular customer. Automations can also be set up to collect payments from no-shows, send marketing emails, and even update reservation statuses, all without you ever having to lift a finger. The Offers tab allows you to set up discounts or special offers on certain time slots on your online booking widget. For example, if you typically don't generate business on weekdays from 1 to 3 p.m., you could set up a 20% discount on those hours to help increase the likelihood someone will book at that time slot. Guest reviews allow you to send automated post-dining surveys to your guests. From this tab, you can decide what information you collect from your guests. You might be interested in just getting a written review, but you can also allow guests to rate your service, ambience, and food. These surveys will automatically be sent to your guests after they finish their reservation, and you can then monitor what ratings your guests have given you on a daily basis. The Users tab allows you to give your staff access to EDAP. Once your users are added and their roles are defined, you can head to the Permissions tab to define what each user role can do within EDAP. For example, you might not want your staff to be able to send out marketing emails, but you want your restaurant marketing manager to be able to do so. 
And when it comes time to see how your restaurant has been doing, EDAP comes stocked with a suite of advanced reports giving you an in-depth look at your reservations, restaurant performance, guests, payments, and more. You can even toggle automatic email reports that get delivered right to your inbox to keep you in the loop. So that's my brief overview of EDAP. The features I went over in this video barely even scratch the surface of what you can achieve at your restaurant with EDAP. If you want to learn more, check out our other videos or schedule a consultation with one of our product specialists. Thanks for watching.